A lot of things are happening in this world today. People are so wicked and a lot of people are becoming comfortable butchering others, torturing others just for their own personal gain. Hello my bestie besties, welcome to your Splowy Sue. If today is your first time coming across my channel, please do well to subscribe and support this channel by liking this video and sharing it so that YouTube can recommend it to more people. In today's video, we'll be exploring two insecurity issues. A man was caught trying to sell human skulls and other bones. And there has been a massive shootout between the police and a gang in a kidnapping heist, leaving nine of them to buy, of which one of them, who was said to be the leader of the gang, was a Nollywood producer and upcoming actor. My bestie besties, I plead with you, if at all you haven't been watching any of my videos and you come across this one right here, kindly watch it to the end and share it to other people so they can also be aware of what is going on. In today's world, one can never be too careful. It is the grace of God for us to even go in and out of our homes. Watch the rest of the video and let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this whole saga. So this guy was caught along airport road and what the guy is holding now human being bone and human being skull. And according to him, he sells it for 600,000 Naira for the bones. They asked him where he got it. He said that he was hunting and he just saw the bones and the skull, which doesn't even make any sense. It's obvious say, these people, they catch people, then they go, so basically now right it only means that these people will carry a full human being cut the person maybe come out other organs sell those ones then still sell the bones all because of money how much is six hundred thousand for crying out loud and according to him he said get buy away the on stand buy where they wait, human being, human being, human being. Well, this guy was caught around Lube side, uh, around Gosa. Please, to the people living around that axis, more than they care for on until they walk out, especially for night. You understand? Now, God, they protect you, cannot be too careful. But then again, more than they observe on the left, on the right, and center, and always work in company of people. Not the waka alone, especially if you did that area. You close some work for nights. If you no get even in a drop, carry drop at times. Even the drop self is it safe? You just rub on my friend recently said for Uber. That one self I never even come to that one. Do you understand? Human being bones, bro. No be late. No be said they'll buy the person and leave the bone. I do sure say they'll send the person bola kidney go go intestine go go eye go go breast go go this one go go. 600,000 era for bones. 600,000 for bones. My fear now is that no, don't know. FCT command catch them. Uh, FCT command with uh, Commissioner of Police Igwe. You understand? I hope, I just hope that they will treat the case very well. That is my prayer. So that they will penalize. All this one safe. Now, not even supposed to carry them go sentence. They're supposed to carry gun, your buy them. You understand? All this one, they're not deserve trial. This is just my own opinion. So in my opinion, I give this one a sentence now. Somebody somewhere, you know, go know. Somebody somewhere, go you use connection, come out and because we don't know the person they are giving these things to. You know, you never know. Somebody will connection somewhere. If you just say, okay, yeah, they'll just do, 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 come out and. You know, they need to revisit this our constitution. If you buy person, you they buy you too. If they see you with anything, say you buy person, they buy you too. Once they don't do their investigation, they say that is true. 600,000? Jesus Christ. Imagine how many people this one don't buy. Imagine how many how many six hundred thousand in don't collect. Imagine how many. Oh. oh my lord, my best besties, you could all agree with me that the world is coming to an end. If a human being is able, capable of doing such thing, of looking at his brother in the eye, buying them and commuting all their body parts and selling it, then I don't know what to say. Sometimes I just pray to God to come to to come early, to come quick because this world is just turning into something else it's not conducive to live imagine people always in panic having panic attack because of stories like this there are some people out there who have mental health issues and they cannot even leave their house Talk. just imagine them hearing something like this or telling them something like this they will never leave their home again now but sadly this is the situation the country is reduced to 
there is insecurity and I cannot even comment on the government because I don't live there and I, I can only speak of what I have heard or what I know of the news. But I know that if there are a lot of job opportunities, if there are a lot of togetherness in the country, these things wouldn't be happening. It is clear that the people are hungry. Very soon, people will be walking on the street and looking at each other like a kebab, like a suya, that they just want to devour at that moment. But according to my take, in cases like these, they're supposed to do proper investigation and even target the people who are buying these things arrest these people before it's too late before even letting this situation come to light because you see that guy over there holding those bones yes he's trying to survive but he's not the main target his life in fact his life could even be at risk at the moment because of what he knows because of information the power of information the power of knowing but in all the police is doing a great job by even recognizing and finding these people and this kind of things if they can continue through this route and fish out many of the people out there who are doing the KIDNAP job, then that is somewhere to start from. At least the citizens can have peace of mind and be assured that the police is working actively to always keep them safe and protect them. But people get mind though. What at all could somebody be using bones for? I am even confused. Leave your comment down below the comment section and let us know what you think they could be needing those bones for. This is the reason why people go missing and we don't even know where they are. The police investigate and investigate and investigate until they are tired to go any further. That's because, ah, take your guess. You know what I'm about to say. It is even heartbreaking and heavy for me to say. Just a couple of days ago, there has been a shootout between the Nigerian police and uh, gang kidnappers. <laughs> Funny enough, according to the news, one of those kidnappers was a Nigerian, a Nollywood producer and upcoming movie actor. Unfortunately, these people left home saying goodbye to their families. We'll see you later, but never returned because karma and justice caught up with them. More on security matters, the Lagos State Police Command has confirmed the killing of nine kidnappers in the Ladipo area of the state. It was gathered that the kidnappers were attempting to abduct someone on Thursday when the police followed the operation. The state police public relations officer, Benjamin Hundane, confirmed the development, adding that the suspects were killed during a gun duel with the police. Some of the items reportedly recovered from the suspects are gun, bullets, and army uniforms. Hmm, guys, this is serious. Look at what was in their possession. If somebody's been kidnapped like this with these items, eh, only God knows what their end would be. This thing is becoming very serious and a massive insecurity for the state. Not only were they going around kidnapping, but they also portrayed themselves as police because they had army clothes with them. So just imagine you will see a soldier on the road thinking that this is an actual soldier. You will see a policeman on the road thinking this is an actual policeman. Meanwhile, they are in, they are not. God help us, God save us because this world is really a dangerous place to be. The kidnappers who were caught on their ways would not give up easily as they engaged the police officers in a shootout. They, of course, bowed to the superior firepower of the police. The Lagos State Police Command has asked hospitals to treat anyone with gunshot wounds, but also reports immediately. Now, this is coming after a gun battle left nine kidnappers dead and two escaping with gunshot injuries. Service Senior Correspondent Ivy Kano reports. There's always a set time for everyone, particularly those who choose the fast lane. They must have said goodbyes to their loved ones, not knowing it will be the last time. Not one, not two, but nine suspected kidnappers met their Waterloo in Lagos. Well, guys, nobody can actually determine the reasoning behind such actions of people. But guys, comment down below the comment section. Let us know what you think about this whole thing. 
And meanwhile, let's keep praying that all these insecurities and problems cease very soon. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you guys take care and be careful. May the good Lord be with you all and bye-bye for now. I'll see you in the next video.